I've seen some shit shows come down the pike in America, and this one takes the cake. I was watching Wii TV today because they air reruns of the sitcom Roseanne, and I love that show. Anyway, there's a preview they keep airing for a new show called Pregnant and Dating. It's really not much more to say about it other than that. I mean, if you don't understand what it is conceptually from the title of the show, then, you know. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to keep face palming in this video because, like yesterday when I released that video, the screen cap that it picked, that YouTube picked, was me face palming. So, anyways, hopefully YouTube returns the favor today because this show is, a, is, is just a big fat fucking face palm. I, I don't even know where to begin to dissect how just... I, 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 you pick the word. You pick the word for what this show is. Seventeen and Pregnant, all those other shit shows that MTV airs, I, I'm sorry. They they at least serve a purpose to appeal to the, the teenage girl that gets knocked up. A show like this, Pregnant and Dating, now it doesn't, it's not teenagers, these are, from the previews anyway, of who they showed, are adult women, they all appear to be in their 20s, early 30s, stuff like that. I'm going to leave a link in the video description for the extended trailer for this show. Um, I posted it on Twitter, and you guys might have seen it there earlier today. The stuff that is said and portrayed in this extended trailer, it just, just blows my mind. It just blows my mind that even if this is fake and they're all actresses, this is still setting just such a sad, pathetic image for America, for pregnant women, for just women in general, for men looking to to prey upon pregnant women, I, I just I don't even I, I don't even know where to begin. There's so much in in this trailer that just just was infuriating to me. From a woman saying, "I've got something to tell you, I'm pregnant." So let me get this right. One of the women on this show starts dating a guy and then reveals to him that she's pregnant? I'm sorry, but if you're a woman and you leave out that little factor before you start dating someone and you spring it on them at the date, then you're a cunt. I'm sorry, you should not be praised. I, I would, I, oh, oh, I welcome, I welcome all the white knights that want to, and someone even said this on my Twitter, said, oh, there's enough white knights in this country that are going to put these whores on pedestal. Bring it on. Bring it the fuck on. You guys, anyone that would stick up for these, again, pick whatever word you want to call them with here. It's just so many things on this show. And... It just makes you wonder, where is the priority of these women at? Like, you're pregnant with a child, and you're you're concerned about dating. Okay, I'm not saying you never have to date again because you got knocked up, and the other spouse or partner that you were with that knocked you up wants nothing to do with you, and shut up Twitter, wants nothing to do with you. But to be, have that be on your mind... So vehemently, like, I, I, I want to be out in love and show some of the girls crying, like, oh, I can't get a man because I'm pregnant. Well, no, duh. No, duh. Worry about having your kid. And the one lady saying, I don't need a man. I want a man. Uh, save that priority for when you're not having a fucking kid in your stomach. I know it's technically not your stomach, Sumi. Anyway. I just, I... <laughs> I, I don't know how a show like this got past the conception stage, no pun intended. Uh, it got past the, the stages of sitting in a boardroom saying, oh, we got a new idea for a show. We're going to follow around pregnant women and document their lives while they try and become, you know, dating individuals in society. And how it gets past that, it gets past the pilot stage and gets to the fact that it literally airs on television. I guess they're banking on the fact that people are just going to be just so outraged to see women and uh, pregnancy treated like this that they're just going to watch it to hate it. I, just, I, I, can't, I, I can't imagine people are going to want to watch this to enjoy it. I mean, how many people is this really going to apply to? Like I said, a show like Teen Mom, that at least appeals that at least appeals to the teenage girls in this country or around the world that get knocked up. A show like Pregnant and Dating, um, 
I'm sorry, how many pregnant women are really concerned about dating? How many people that would watch a show like this, oh, I hope when I'm pregnant I can at least find a different man to start dating? <laughs> and one of the girls in that trailer, again, watch that trailer, it's linked in the video description, it's about a minute and a half long, you're just, you're just gonna, uh, you're just gonna have your mouth open the whole time. I'm sorry, let me face palm here. Okay, there, hopefully that's a screen cap. Um, one of the women in that trailer says, um, you know, there's a lot of guys that find this sexy. Um, I'm sorry, honey, to tell you a little thing. Um, it's not so much that a guy would find that sexy to to want to sleep with someone who's pregnant. It's because they can have sex with you bareback, finishing you, and not have to worry about you becoming pregnant because you already are pregnant. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but that's one of the biggest draws to banging a pregnant chick. And um, obviously, they're used to being dumped if the father isn't with them anymore, and I got an eyelash in my eye. So they're like, oh, just bang her, dump her. <laughs> the last guy she was with obviously did that, so she's used to it. <laughs> that, that's, that's, I'm sorry if, that, if that's a little bit cruel, but that's kind of what the guys that are attracted to someone who would be pregnant with another person's child. And again, to the men that would be dating someone like that, what, what is the attraction? Why have someone with that much baggage that you're going to have to deal with immediately? Like, I don't know. Are they completely broke up with the last guy? Is he going to come back into my life? There's so much uncertainty. Now, I have no problem with someone who wants to, if you're a guy who wants to date someone who already has kids, that's a whole different thing. This, again, this woman's priorities should not be on going out and being in a new loving relationship. Well, I'm sorry. Think about your children as the proverbial cliché saying goes what about the children anyway shit show i can't believe it's airing on american television or probably going to end up being seen around the world oh my fucking god what is this world coming to holy shit i apologize to the rest of the world on behalf of entertainment that the country i live in has produced this is this is just this is just awful uh, this is one of the worst shows i've seen since they made that geico television uh, that Geico Caveman television show on ABC that lasted six episodes before it was canceled. Anyway, I, I, I can't imagine the show's going to be a hit. But then again, Honey Boo Boo's on the air and they're having a new show with Scratch and st Sniffs. Uh, don't get me started on that. that uh, you scratch different stickers during you when you watch the sh Goddamn television today. I, I'd rather watch reruns of Roseanne from uh, 12 years ago. Oh, I am. Anyway. Have a great day, everyone.